Okay, I'm going to give a demonstration on the MFJ998 Auto Tuner. It's a full legal limit auto tuner by MFJ. Without, it handles up to 1500 watts. I'm going to zoom in on the display and show a couple things. And the current screen here shows the frequency that you're operating on, your current SWR, how much forward power you're putting out, in this case 14.3 watts, and your reflected power, which is 1.6. Okay. Show a couple other things here. We have menus in here. You can change. You have the SWR beep off or on. Refresh means as the tuner is tuning, the display uh, changes with it. By having it off, the tuner works faster. Uh, the tuner also works with several different radios if you want to use it. Uh, so you hit the tune button, the radio automatically transmits. You go back there. Uh, with the ASU MP2000 or 9000. ASU FC30 like the FT847. Kenwood AT300. Linko and ICOM. Or you can just have it off and use it with any old rig. So well, let's exit out. And you can also select it so when you hit the tune button, less than half a second, it either tunes or you can have it to bypass. I prefer to automatically have it tuned. So right now, I'm on 1976, 160 meters. I have my long wire selected. Uh, let's retune the antenna on the ID first, K9MQ. So if we hit the tune button, it will automatically tune to that frequency. And we're at 1977, and I got a 1 to 1 SWR, and I was putting out in the tune cycle 9.9 .9 watts, with nothing reflected, supposedly. So let me transmit a little bit here. K9MQ, K9MQ testing. Let me actually get closer to the mic here. K9MQ, K9MQ testing. One, two, three. K9MQ. And you can see the uh, the meters moving and the forward power, the reflected power, and that type of thing. So let's go to a different band now. Let's go to uh, 15 meters. Let me ID K9MQ. All right, so we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the tune button. In that case, I had the power turned down. Let me turn it back up. It takes about 10 watts or so for the tuner to activate. Now, it hasn't been on this frequency before. Yeah, on the first attempt, I found a 1.4 to 1 SWR. Hit it again. And you can get even lower. Now, let's, uh, I got to go up. I'm going to give a demonstration here. Just going to put a carrier out. And if I want to manually adjust the tuning, I can, hit, I can uh, increase or decrease the capacitance and the inductance. You see the SWR went up and down. Same thing here. And on some frequencies, you can actually get it lower than what the auto tuner found it. And if you do get it lower, it will store your manual settings into the tuner bank. And put it back. What's also nice is this tuner has two antenna ports on the back. You have antenna 1 and antenna 2. And what also is nice too, let's say if you have a coax switch in addition to the, the two ports, is you can have different memory banks in here. Memory bank A, B, C and D. So if to store different store different antennas here. And as you transmit you have different graphs under the mode setting. Uh, let's demonstrate that one. And we're putting on about 108 watts there.
This one shows the current capacitance and inductance, with inductance being on the top, and forward power and reflective power of your last transmission. K9MQ. So, that's pretty much a uh, an introduction on the MFJ998 auto tuner, and hope you enjoyed it.